When it comes to androgenetic alopecia, we all know that the concentrations of 5-alpha-reductase enzyme, which, by the way, is the enzyme that converts testosterone into DHT, and more importantly, the concentrations of DHT in the scalp tissue is what we are concerned with. Now, we use medications, the 5-alpha-reductase inhibitors like finasteride, which is a type 2 5-alpha-reductase inhibitor, meaning it reduces only the type 2 enzyme variant of 5-alpha-reductase. And we also have drugs like dutasteride, which reduces both the 5-alpha-reductase type 1 and type 2 enzyme. Now, the type 1 enzyme is usually found in the skin tissues as well as scalp skin tissue. The type 2 enzyme is predominantly found near the hair follicle. However, I've come to find in my research that both the type 1 and the type 2 enzyme is important when it comes to combating androgenetic alopecia, and especially if we're trying to get long-term results. Why? Well, the hair follicles that are miniaturizing on your scalp, that is, if you have androgenetic alopecia, are very, very sensitive to DHT. DHT in those hair follicles that are genetically programmed to have that sensitivity become suppressed in their mechanism of growth. Meaning over time, as more DHT comes in contact with these hair follicles, the hair follicles ultimately downregulate the amount of hair they produce, slowly withering and miniaturizing over time, and then you have that bald look. So really, anything we can do to reasonably reduce scalp DHT should help us as well. Well, today